Welcome to Pocono Perspectives. I'm Brianna at the historic Stroud Mansion with Stroudsburg's Mayor Tara Probst. And today we're talking all about Stroudsburg. Thanks for joining us. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for having me here. It's so exciting to be able to do this. Let's start at the very beginning with Stroudsburg's history. Sure. The first settlers were here in the early 1700s and um, they came from upstate New York and um, Jacob Stroud, who you know is ultimately the founder of Stroudsburg, his family moved here and his second oldest son, um, Daniel, he had asked him to move in the mansion where we're sitting right now so that he could help him build the town of Stroudsburg. So it's pretty exciting. Um, February 5th, 1815, Stroudsburg was officially incorporated. So we celebrated 200 years in 2015. And in those 200 years, I was honored to be the first female mayor elected and then reelected. So it's pretty much an honor for me to say that. Really is a big honor. And when people come downtown Stroudsburg, they can still see a lot of those historic structures still yeah, standing today. They can, and um, well, we're in one of them. There's been a little, you know, minimal changes to the front and maybe side of the building, but as you can see from the floors and the fireplaces and everything that it's pretty true to form. Um, in the Hill District we have, which is where um, our residential houses are, um, for example, my house was built in 1892 and I traced the deed back and uh, it, was, it was in script. It's in volume two in the courthouse. It's just so cool to know that these houses and these structures are still here. And, and th that's the thing. It seems like back then people took pride in what they did and built and they were built to last. And so there's many, many beautiful buildings. Um, one of them being the J.J. Uh, Newberry, which was the first you know, department store, it's now Renegade Winery. Um, around Courthouse Square where Tolino Vineyards is, for example, um, they're all original. Um, the jail across the street from Tolino Vineyards and um, that was pre-Civil War jail and still standing there structurally fine. Um, when they say Courthouse Square, even though it's a circle, at one point it was a square, I've seen those pictures. Um, but even the courthouse, the main part of it is still you know, the same facade and, and the same structure. Um, going down Main Street, when you look at buildings like the apple tree, I mean, how beautiful is, you know, they make sure the flowers are all in the windows and it's just a really lovely, charming town. And I'm proud to be mayor of this borough. And at any point did Stroudsburg undergo a revitalization? Well, I think every town um, always goes through revitalization periods. I mean, you know, this was um, the county seat, number one. So this is where all the business took place with the courthouse and everything else since, you know, 1815, really. But even in my time, I remember when the mall was built. And, uh, you know, be prior to the mall, every bit of shopping was done on this main street from your school clothes to my doctor's office, just everything. And um, so you go through periods, the malls, the, you know, the outlets and the strip malls. It always takes away from a downtown. And of course now we have that big major, you know, online Amazon problem. But I will say for Stroudsburg's benefit is that the town is resilient and it's beautiful and we are constantly are reinventing ourselves while keeping the historic charm. And we're better now than um, ever, at least in the last uh, 20 years. Um, we have some building projects that are going on. We are, um, I mean, we're just doing so much from being green with solar trash cans. Um, I, you know, it might not sound like a big deal, but it really truly is. Um, just making sure our town always has the um, historic presence, but also we need to move forward to the future while keeping that. So we're moving forward, but still keeping the feel of an old charming town. And is Stroudsburg a great place for people to visit? I have to say we're big with tourism, of course. I mean, we have we have people from all over Monroe County. When that train comes back, which that's always my goal to get that train to come back, I say look out. So, um, but as for our downtown, yeah, we have everything you need from a tailor to uh, someone to do your hair from a winery to food, uh, clothing, dental offices, a YMCA, I mean, the list goes on a bookstore. Anything you need, you can find in our borough. And it's a beautiful, walkable downtown. We have all these yeah. unique shops and these restaurants and these bars. There really is something for everyone. There is, and there's more to come. We are going to preserve what we have and move into the future, so. And in recent years, Stroudsburg has had new wineries, breweries, distilleries come to town, and it really just brings a new crowd downtown. It does, and you know, it, the, the beauty of it is, when you think about it, 
we have, you know, when I was growing up, you'd hear people come in and say, oh, there's not enough culture or, and, and I agree, growing up, you know, we had like one Japanese restaurant, for example. Um, but now, fast forward from, I mean, from Thai, you know, Portuguese, French, I mean, you name it, we have it on Main Street or in this borough. And um, we have five art galleries. Um, you know, we have the wineries. Now there's going to be a distillery coming in. I don't know if you know about that. It, the windows are wrapped right now, but we're going to be having a new distillery as well. And um, it's just food and drink and restaurants and art galleries and shops and a walkable downtown and cafes. You know, Q the Courthouse Square is one of my favorite areas. So, um, and now we have the ice skating rink too this winter, which is nice. And we have a lot of festivals, Winterfest, Stroudfest. There's always something going on in Stroudsburg there, that's family friendly. And, and you know, the Sherman Theater is really a huge, huge help with that because um, they, I mean, that's a historic building, number one. They bring in great acts and great shows and they kept it true to that theater, which, uh, you know, it always was. And um, they always have something, whether it's a concert, a show, a festival, they've got something going on once or twice or three times a month, which really helps the downtown. And with the Penn Stroud reopening, it's great to have that downtown hotel again. So um, yeah, it's really, it's all good news. It really is. And Winterfest is huge. So we're gonna have more than 40 ice sculptures. And then that takes us into Art Walk Saturdays, first Saturdays. Um, and then we go into Halloween on Main. I mean, there's 2000 kids and families with businesses all supporting and handing out candy. Um, we have massive St. Patrick's Day Parade, which is always a really good time. Um, the Christmas tree lighting grows every year. So really, really lovely events. And Courthouse Square, when you're there on Black Friday and then Small Business Saturday, of course, is the next day. And you see these old charming buildings and a town just packed. It's like something out of a wonderful life. So it really makes you proud. It makes me proud. I'm very proud of this area. I'm very proud of our residents. I'm so proud of our businesses and our business owners that really go to work every day. They work really hard to give everybody a good experience. And I do believe that with the way things are going and the change of times, that people are starting to come back to town, starting to spend locally, starting to realize that if I don't go and support my local shopkeepers, then there might not be a downtown. And I love my downtown, so I'm gonna do that. And um, that seems to be happening. I think that's a trend. But if you were to drive through Pennsylvania and surrounding states and saw all the little towns, I would be hard pressed to say that we, we would definitely be in the top 10. It's that great of a town. And I'm proud to be from here. I'm proud to be the mayor of uh, this wonderful place. And um, we're gonna keep, you know, I'm gonna do everything I can to promote it. And you've invested a lot in Stroudsburg as mayor and opening up your own mm -hmm. business. Like yeah. you said, you really believe in Stroudsburg. So I thought to myself, because I'm from here, but then I was away for 22 years and I moved back in 2010, but my family always stayed here. And I remember thinking to myself, okay, if I win this, it's going to be my full-time job. So after I won, I left corporate America and immediately invested in the downtown and, and opened up a small business, um, which is still standing there today. It was turnkey. Um, the Renegade Winery bought it. It's still the charcuterie. It's a great place. And I'm proud of that because it was, I put my heart and soul into saying, I believe in this town and so should you. And I think it really, really paid off because it started a little domino effect. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna attach my name to anything that I'm not gonna give 100% to. So whether it's this town, family, friends, if my name's on it, you have 100% of me. So um, we are really doing all we can. And Stroudsburg Borough, our borough council, we're, we're all on the same page. It's so great to go to work and everybody wants to just keep getting things done and moving forward and, um, and that's what we're doing. Where do you see Stroudsburg in the future? Um, I see it better than ever. What we've done over the last four years and what we plan to do, um, is it's going to be amazing. You're going to see more places to live, more buildings, new apartments, um, walkable downtown, um, bike lanes. You're going to see it be so much. It's user friendly now, but you're going to see it be, you know, even more user friendly. And I truly believe that the Poconos and the surrounding areas, it's going to make a comeback. The market is coming back, people are gonna move back, and you know, 
the one solid key to the success of all of Monroe County, including Stroudsburg, to make it the best it can be is getting a train going again. And that could happen. It's happened in New Jersey. Um, it's happening 19 miles away from us. So there's no reason why we can't make that connection again. And when we do, this is going to be the place to live. You are 70 miles from the best city in the world, New York City. But I'd like to say we're the best town in the world, Stroudsburg. <laughs> A lot of great things happening in Stroudsburg. Thank you. Mayor Tara Probst, thanks Thank so you. much for joining us oh, today. Thanks for having me. It was really great to be here. I appreciate it. Of course. Thanks for watching this edition of Pocono Perspectives. We'll see you soon.